and welcome to another live broadcast with MedStar Health. My name is Michelle Bowman, and I'm joined today by Kelly McCallum, nurse practitioner, and Sherry Turner, medical assistant and community health advocate. Today, we're putting a spotlight on a very important community service offered by MedStar Health, one that is designed to literally bring much needed assistance and medical services to the communities across Southern Baltimore, Baltimore City and Northern Anne Arundel County. And by literally, I mean literally a healthcare center on wheels, as you can see. Uh, Kelly and Sherry, thank you both for being here uh, today to talk with us about the MedStar Health Mobile Health Center parked right here and all the wonderful uh, services it offers for the community. Uh, before we get started, uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'll show, start with you, Kelly. Hi, everybody. I'm Kelly McCallum. I'm a nurse practitioner, and I'm the healthcare provider on our MedStar Health Mobile Health Center. Hello, my name is Sherry Turner. I am the community health advocate, HIV counselor, and medical assistant on the mobile health unit. Thank you both again for being here with us today. Um, so Kelly, to kick off our conversation, um, could you tell us what is the MedStar Health Mobile Health Center? Well, the MedStar Mobile Health Center is literally a primary care office on wheels. What we do is we go out into the South Baltimore and Northern Anne Arundel County community and we provide primary care services, um, preventative health services, as well as resources and connection to care for people in the community. Um, we serve patients that are 16 years of age and older, and we connect them to all types of community resources, specialty care, and things of that nature here in South Baltimore. Great, thank you. And who works on the unit, Kelly, and who provides care for patients who visit? In need of medical attention well we we are a team of three so I am the health care provider on the unit and as you met Sherry Turner she is our community health advocate who also does case management services and helps me she's my right hand for um, any of our clinical work and our third team member is Terry Fredericks she drives this wonderful truck around in the South Baltimore community and she also provides help with patient registration and some financial assistance for our patients as well. Awesome. Awesome. Could you share how and why the service began last fall and why it's important that Metzler Health launched a mobile health center? Sure, absolutely. So the initiative for the mobile health center actually began three years ago, actually almost four years to this date. And a community needs assessment was done by our community health and primary care team to evaluate what services were needed in South Baltimore related to patients who were not visiting the primary care office often, and they were frequently going to the emergency room um, to get primary care services. So the biggest barrier to care was found to be transportation. As you can hear in the background, we're right on Hanover Street. Lots of traffic, lots of noise. May not seem like a barrier to some, but coming from the South Baltimore community and traveling all the way through the chaos to get to primary care services can be a little overwhelming. So the solution was okay. If people can't get to us, then we will pack up all the things that they need to the best of our ability and go to them. So in September of last year, we launched the primary care services that we provide on the mobile unit for that sole reason, access to care to the South Baltimore and Northern Anne Arundel County community and removing the barrier of transportation to connect us with the community. If you don't have it, we'll bring it to you. So I like that strategy. Uh, Sherry, let's turn it over to you. Could you elaborate on the services and programs that are offered on the uh, mobile health center? Okay, as stated previously, I'm the community health advocate aboard the unit. As we said before, Kelly provides uh, the preventive care, whether it be a wellness check or urgent care. I also assist patients with getting social needs services, whether it be utility shutoff, medical assistance applications, but, um, behavioral health. Um, I hook them up with Hungry Harvest, which is a good program in Maryland that takes uh, food that cannot be sold in the retail space 
so that we can cut down on the waste of food. Awesome. Thank you, Sherry. And could you also share about the Mesa Health um, Global Health Center schedule and where it is usually stationed? Okay, so we have six South Baltimore sites and two Anne Arundel County, northern Anne Arundel County sites. And we're there at least twice a month at each location. And let me get the website right. If you want a complete schedule, you can go to medstarhealth.org slash mobile health center. So as we transition, we have a few more questions to get to, but we're going to do that inside. But at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Terry Frederick, who is the registrar and driver of the MedStar Health Mobile Health Center. So she's going to share some things with you as well. So let's... Hi, let me give you guys a quick tour of our unit. This is one of our exam rooms. We have two. They're both identical, so we can just show you this one today. So once we come in and get you registered and I get all your paperwork out of the way, then I turn you over to Sherry and she'll bring you back here and get your blood pressure, temperature, height, weight, and all that other good stuff. Then Kelly will come in and take all your medical needs. And that's about it. Real simple, quick, easy, convenient. Um, so, Kelly, uh, my understanding is that the Mesa Health Mobile Health Center played a vital role in our community COVID-19 vaccination efforts. So could you tell, a, a, tell us a little bit about how that has worked over this time and how many people have benefited from those vaccinations? Sure, absolutely. So um, in September when, of last year when the mobile unit went out for service, um, we were making connections with the community and then Governor Hogan um, set out an initiative in January to mobilize vaccine efforts to all underserved communities or communities that have barriers to receiving vaccines to make sure that there was an equitable distribution of vaccinations to everyone. So since our mobile unit was already up and running, it was an easy transition actually. And at the end of January, kind of shifted our focus a little bit and made arrangements with um, Baltimore City Health Department in partnership with them. And we set out to bring vaccines to people in South Baltimore and the downtown Baltimore community to allow access to care. So we were able to make arrangements to have the vaccine transported to Harbor Pharmacy. And then we store it here in the refrigerator. And um, initially when the age bracket was 75 and older, we were able to go to neighborhood community centers in Cherry Hill, downtown Baltimore, in um, Curtis Bay, places like that where we could set up shop and either have vaccination and registration occur on the mobile unit and utilize a space inside any facility or an observation area post-vaccination, or at times we would be able to transport an entire vaccine center indoors in a community center. So the flexibility of being able to have a mobile vaccine center literally curbside was essential in allowing us from the end of January until now to be able to participate in vaccinating over 2,000 people awesome. in Baltimore City. So it's been an amazing effort, um, a team effort, absolutely. And we're still going. We're still going. We're still doing several vaccine clinics a week. Um, and we're also in the process of gearing up to help Baltimore City schools start to open up avenues to vaccinate our 12 and older population now that Pfizer is cleared for use on that age group. Awesome. That's very impressive to hear. Thank you very much for sure. all your hard work and doing that. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's very good. Um, so Sherry, as a community health advocate, I'd love to hear your perspective about the impact that the center has made in our communities and for those who needed to get vaccinated but um, and, and needed a place to turn to for much needed care. So. Uh, why why does this matter? What's the impact? Well, 
As community health workers and advocates, we routinely play critical roles in introducing vaccinations to the communities having the most need. Um, we have had a very positive impact on the community with the vaccine clinics, as well as our medical clinic being in the community. A lot of people during this pande pandemic um, were unable to get to hub locations to get vaccines. A lot of individuals do not have internet access. Some are just disabled and homebound and unable to get out. So we've had, it's been a very excellent impact and we had a good turnout with the community. That's, that's awesome, awesome, great work that you, got, you guys are doing, um, bringing, bringing the care to people and, and meeting that need. So that's, that's great to hear. Uh, so shifting gears a bit, no pun intended. <laughs> um, if someone wants to visit the MedStar Health Mobile Health Center, uh, do they need to make an appointment, Kelly? So we are able to do walk-ins as well as appointments. Um, so if someone needs to make an appointment, they can call the number that Sherry reported, um, our 410-350-7511 number. That is a dedicated number for the mobile health center. So they'll call and they'll talk to a live person um, during business hours and before five o'clock. Um, they'll talk to a live person. That person will ask them what location they want to have their appointment. So that's the benefit of having eight total partner sites where we set up for clinic throughout the month because it's accessibility based on um, wherever you reside in South Baltimore. We're always somewhere close by. Um, if you can't make an appointment or if you're walking down the street and you're like, you know, I haven't been to the doctors in a while or I have a need that I want to get addressed on the spot, we also take walk-ins. We often have patients do just that. They walk up, they ask, you know, what, what, what do you guys do? What are you doing here? Or they say, I've seen the truck in the neighborhood and I was wondering kind of how you can help me. And they walk up on board and we get them registered and we can see them the same day as well. That's fantastic. Um, so, so what about insurance? Do you guys uh, accept insurance on, on the vehicle? We do. We do accept any insurance for the most part on the vehicle. Um, but we also have an opportunity for patients who are uninsured. Um, that, can sometimes be a barrier to care if you don't have insurance, but thought is, well, if I can't pay for it, no one can help me. But um, we do have the ability to see, to care for patients that do not have insurance. Um, and that's also one of the benefits we have with our community health advocate on board. If you don't have insurance while you're here, she can help sign you up for that. So if you need to get services other than on the mobile health clinic, then not having insurance will no longer be a barrier. Uh, great segue to my next uh, question to you, Sherry. Um, can you elaborate on that and the assistance that you, you guys provide in working with community partners, uh, perhaps providing financial assistance for those who do not have insurance and need care? Okay, because we're a non-profit facility, um, we offer financial assistance to low and no income um, individuals who qualify. They may have to pay a small copay to no copay for the services. While they, a lot of them await getting their medical assistant application approved through social services. Awesome. Um, so I think as we transition, I think it's important um, as we close to emphasize that the mobile health center is not a place to turn to uh, when someone is experiencing a complex medical condition. No emergency uh, care as well. So Kelly, can you speak to that and address what happens when someone does require um, that, that care that is not available on the mobile health center? Sure, absolutely. So um, we are a mobile health clinic and we do have a tremendous amount of resources. However, in the case of an emergency, like you know, potential stroke or heart attack, things of that nature, you know, we're limited on the services we can provide based on equipment and things like that. So if we do have a patient that comes on board and they do have a medical emergency, what we do as a team, we, you know, as the provider, I will stabilize them to the best of my ability. And meanwhile, one of my team members will contact emergency services and, you know, make sure that we have EMS come out to our location to kind of pick up where we left off to transport the patient to the nearest emergency room for care. Awesome. Uh, so we're out of time, unfortunately, but, um, to learn more about the MedStar Health um, Mobile Health 
both, uh, I think we have uh, one question coming in from social media. Um, at this time, I, I would like to say, just reiterate, um, that if you do have a question, um, please leave that in the comments below. Uh, share this broadcast with your friends and give us a like to let us know that you're watching as well. And if you have any questions about the Mets for Health Mobile Health Center, uh, please share that with us. Um, so again, I just want to reiterate the, the website to go to. We're going to share that in the comments below. That is MedStar Health Mobile Health Center. Um, and the phone number is 410-350-7511. All right. Um, bear with me just a second. Sure. All right. All right, I thought I had a question, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> uh, be sure to share. If you do have a question, share it with us, and we're going to contact Sherry and Kelly and the entire team to get that uh, response for you. Um, so again, I want to thank Kelly, Sherry, Terry as well for, uh, for joining us today and talking with us and sharing more about the MedStar Health Mobile Health Center. To learn more, please visit medstarhealth.org slash mobile health center or call our call center at 410-350-7511. Thank you and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you.